your take on this case. Call me. 1-877-JVM says 1-877-586-7297. Straight out to the lion's den. Prosecutors are charging this innocent looking baby face kid as an adult. He could go to prison for the rest of his life. John Liebman, where the heck is the evidence against this kid? We've we heard opening statements. We've heard hours of testimony. As far as I can see, no bombshell evidence against this kid. Well, it's interesting, Jane. Yeah, there's no physical evidence. There's no DNA. They don't even know exactly what the murder weapon was. And the other part that's interesting is prosecutors came out in their opening and they said, look, we don't know what our star witness, Mr. Gauker, is going to say. And as you well know, he has changed his story now no fewer than five times about first throwing his son under the bus, saying he was responsible, then, of course, ultimately taking the blame and pleading guilty to murder. But it looks like the prosecutors are going to rely on statements, two big statements. One, they're going to rely on statements that apparently Josh Young made to his cousin Cassie, asking her to help dispose of the clothes. And they're going to rely on other statements that Josh Young made to other people, yeah, apparently acknowledging his role in this. Wendy Murphy, the defense is saying Cassie, and I don't know, I wasn't there. I don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but the defense is claiming Cassie was sleeping with the defendant's father and that the defendant basically told her to make up this story. Well, I don't know if the fact that they were doing the nasty means that she's not credible. Um, look, there's a lot of muck in this case in terms of who's credible. This, this whole situation, the family at both ends is just ugly. But there is a dead child. And not only um, is it clear that it was a murder, you have damning statements from, J uh, from, from you know, the younger of the two, but also the father, in a sense, implicates his own son because he lied. And, and you know, it's, it's on the one hand good for the defense that the father is saying, I did it, I acted alone. But it's also, in a sense, evidence that his son was involved, too, because the cover-up is, I think, some evidence against the son. Well, look, it's absolutely mind-boggling to hear the monstrous ex-con, demented, uh, pot-smoking father talk about killing his stepson because he shows absolutely no remorse. To me, I have to wonder, at the end of it, we just heard this kid has never been in trouble. He's not like his dad, who's already pleaded guilty to killing this kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let, you know. Let me, uh, let me throw it to Anna Yum. Why on earth is the prosecution trying to charge this kid and put him on trial as an adult and put him behind bars for life? Jane, I think the reason why the prosecution is not backing off is because this kid has been in custody this entire time. And the problem that I have with this case, Jane, is that there's no physical evidence linking him. All we have is potentially just gossip and innuendo. And then we have the credibility of one man who arguably could be the worst father in the history of all mankind with a rap sheet as long as my arm. And then this woman by the name of Cassie who allegedly had sexual relations with the father and who also, my understanding, has a criminal history as well involving theft-related offenses. So the prosecution at this point in time has an uphill battle. I didn't hear any bombshell evidence, like you said, Jane, to lead me to believe that they have other evidence that they could potentially convince this jury beyond a reasonable doubt that Joshua Young is guilty. I just don't see it. I know. I was also listening for hours on end today. When are we going to get to the evidence? OK, when are we going to get to the evidence? And I didn't hear anything. And that's making me a little crazy. I mean, because just putting a kid on trial at this age is going to traumatize him for the rest of his life. Is Straight out to the lion's den panel, you have heard the family of the young defendant say he's an innocent and the family of the young victim say that this defendant is far from innocent and is a monster like his dad. So Adam Zwickle, what do you think? Well, I mean, I guess this evening you're not going to get a lot of arguing going on here in the lion's den because I honestly think that everybody on this panel logically understands that there's really no evidence that this young boy was involved in this murder. You know, when I look up, I don't you know, agree with that. OK, well, well, let, let me let me let me let me let me just finish. Let me just finish. OK, waited patiently. Let me just finish. Bottom line is I've been practicing law for 18 years on state and federal court. I have never seen an opening statement so lacking in evidence right. in my entire career. They're so desperate 
so desperate that they have to stand in front of a jury and tell a jury that they're going to call a murderous monster who they have no idea what he's going to say. They have no idea what's going to happen when he takes the stand in order to support their case. When you look up an innocent person in the dictionary, this young boy's face is sitting right there. There is no evidence oh, in this case. Who and it is completely with that? Okay. overcharged. Uh, Adam, completely okay. overcharged. Oh, okay, please. Wendy. 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 Listen, okay, he's cute. <laughs> Give me some evidence, Wendy. Really Show me what they look. did on opening I'd statement. I'd like to hear some evidence, Excuse Wendy. Now Where's zip the it. evidence? Zip Give me some evidence, Wendy. Okay, okay. okay. Wendy. It's, very, Wendy. it's very easy to get swept away by the sweet-faced uh, nature of this kid. <laughs> Lots of kids age 15 do extremely bad things, okay? They just do. Look up the data. There is a lot of evidence murderer, implicating Wendy. him because Where let me just is finish. The There's a lot of evidence, evidence. against him. Let, well, let, listen. Let me say okay, this. Let's stop talking. Uh, okay. Can I say something, please? Yes. First of all, he confessed. That was a confession to Kathy. Oh. You don't have to like her, but it was a confession, okay? And don't be biased against her just because she's having sex with somebody. That doesn't mean she's Allegedly. a liar. She told that to cops. It was a confession. And he also made similar statements to other witnesses. So even if they're all a little ugly to you, they corroborate each other. Plus, the forensic evidence shows multiple weapons were used. That's strong proof that there was more than one person involved. And in the whole world, I think we all can agree that if anyone killed Anna. this boy, it was only two people, maybe one, maybe two, but no more than two, and they Anna both Yum. should stand trial, win or Jane, lose. Jane, what I wanted to say was they, the forensics don't support anything. They can't even establish what the murder weapon was, and so what we're faced with is uh, the older Joshua, Doesn't who matter. has the He's credibility dead. of Another Satan. Another problem, He's look. Are Another so problem, so where, hold on, hold so, where, on. so where is the evidence? Where is well, the murder weapon to establish that this young boy has anything to do with this? You don't a murder weapon but, to convict. I mean, no, you do but, sometimes but so that's like the but you know, However, however, at the same time, I'm not, let me say this. John Lieberman. Another issue, though, is motive as well, and it just doesn't appear from what I've read in all the mm -hmm. documents right. that Josh Young would doesn't have matter. any motive at all. In fact, multiple well, people okay. are going to testify that these two were close. Absolutely. Fantastic exactly. battle. You motive? don't need a motive to be cruel. If indeed it is true that the dad is beating a dog to death and the kid is filming it and laughing, then you may just have sadism. We don't know. Let the court system have its day.